This show is brought to you in part by Bogart Extractors, an industry leader revolutionizing hydrocarbon extraction. Licensed facilities can rest assured that Bogart's certified systems meet all industry standards. They are peer-reviewed by a third-party engineer to ensure your facility and its employees can operate safely. And each stainless steel unit is built and tested right here in the USA. Bogart's functional extractors boast a faster and more cost-effective process with features like hydrocarbon falling films to supercharge evaporation rates, heavy-duty explosion-proof pumps for flammable liquid or vapor, industrial chillers capable of maintaining large tanks of solvent at temperatures well below negative 60 degrees Celsius, and Bogart offers extensive tech support and consultation services. So whether you need to set up an extraction lab from scratch or simply need some replacement gaskets, Bogart is a phone call away at 855-553-3887 or visit bogart.com. That's B-H-O-G-A-R-T dot com. Welcome. You're listening to Casually Baked, the podcast. Home base for the can of curious. Thanks for tuning in. It's Time. We had a hard time together, together. Yes, it's a hard time. We had a hard time together. Hi, y'all. I'm Joe, your host and cannabis lifestyle guide. A lot has happened in the world this month, and whether close and involved or watching from afar. It affects us both individually and collectively. I don't know about you, but I'm one of those sensitive souls that can't stomach the news. (laughs) And I have a degree in broadcast journalism. The amount of doom, gloom, shock, and awe being pumped out into the world in a nightly news hour is more than I can handle anymore. And sifting through tainted online news looking for nuggets of integrity takes more time than I have to give. I was excited when NPR launched the Up First podcast. Now I get my daily roundup of news in 12 minutes each morning while I'm getting ready. You should totally check it out. It's clear, concise, friendly, and then it's over. Boom! Brilliant! Bring on the day! I'm a mindful liver of life and typically don't get sucked into things I can't control. I'm also a lover of science and have a curiosity for the cosmos and a wondrous fascination with life on our planet. It makes me giggle to consider how we as humans can pine and ache or reject and hate such small things about our lives and each other, and then look up and watch the miraculous meeting of sun and moon and not immediately realize how petty all of those little differences and divides are between us. Is anybody considering our collective place and purpose in the multiverse? I mean... Besides us when we're high. Or is that just me? Anyway, I didn't think it was possible for the solar eclipse to be eclipsed in my mind by the hate and bigotry so proudly displayed in Charlottesville. It was ugly. It made my skin crawl and I felt gnarly emotions of disgust. It also reminded me of last week's podcast about embracing diversity and welcoming what is different into our lives. As much as I hated it, I needed to see that. Another bubble burst. You know, it is a fact that hate is bred. The way I see it, we have to wait for two more generations to die off before this dumb shit goes away. Or... Right now, I can share some JoJo Mojo for stopping the cycle of hate and bigotry, and you can add a little sunshine and afternoon delight back into your life 
by taking the bull by the horns your damn self. You know which one you want. I'll be honest. Before I began smoking cannabis on a consistent and regulated basis, I was a different person. I was loud and aggressive. Well, louder, more aggressive, but in a mean kind of way. Now I'm aggressive in an I'm excited as fuck about life sort of way. Cannabis helped me float above the darkness and anger I felt in my life and unlocked this bird's eye view of the roadblocks that stood in my way. I saw my bad habits and ugly qualities for the cloaks that they were disguising my insecure and shameful parts. I summoned an awareness of and appreciation for the perspective of others. And let me be clear, I wasn't also in therapy or taking prescription drugs. I was merely smoking pot and spending time alone with my thoughts. Before I embraced my casually baked lifestyle, I'm not kidding, y'all. I was hard as fuck in a pint-sized package. I yelled, I stomped, I pushed, and I fought, and I most certainly didn't cry about it. I hid my joy from the people who craved it and silently raged against them for my not knowing what authentically happy was even supposed to look like. Cannabis. It's what allowed me to let down my guard and consider life from a different point of view. The biggest thing I figured out is that life is a game of chess. And if you're out there playing checkers, you're fucked. So listen up. If you want to see your life and this world get better, You've got to channel your inner Russian and play the long game. Here are a few of my casually baked tips to get you and our fellow human race back on track. Number one, brace yourself, but be yourself. It's okay to be cautious. I mean, I'm cautious It's important to think things through, consider best and worst case scenarios, but when you're through preparing your future self, be your damn self. Don't worry, lament, build walls, and segregate. Remember, we are the world. We are the children. I know you remember, don't make me sing that shit. Number two, change is inevitable. I'm not sure if your family was like mine, but growing up, my grandparents and great-grandparents were overly concerned with my and my sister's weight and appearance. That's because when my grandmothers were young, the expectation was they were going to land a good man that would take care of them financially while they simultaneously cooked, cleaned, darned clothes, and made babies in high heels and pearls. Fortunately, generational expectations change. Now, as a culture, we're evolving to be less superficial and more caring of a person's right to carve out their own interesting space in the world with an openness for whatever goodness they might offer the tribe and the collective. I guess my point is this. Don't you dare feel stuck. Don't get so bogged down in the ugliness and bullshit that you see right in front of you right now. Instead, choose to pick up your chin, brush those shoulders off, and recognize that you are not stuck. We are not stuck. We never have been. We never will be. 
We are in a constant state of change. And you can go anywhere from here. Decide to go somewhere fucking amazing. Which brings me to number three. You're never going to get to that final destination. The finish line will constantly change. So cut yourself some slack and enjoy the adventure. Life is a brilliant journey, and without the lows, we wouldn't appreciate the highs. Without the defeats, winning wouldn't mean shit. So don't beat yourself up by not checking off enough boxes on your to-do list today. That same list will be there for you to tackle tomorrow. When you feel overwhelmed, stop in your tracks. Take a deep breath and remember that you're never going to get it all done. So there's no sense in being a dick to yourself. The list never stops growing. And hopefully, neither do you. Which brings me to my favorite and final suggestion. Number four, consult with yourself regularly. The best way to play the long game is through daily meditation. If you practice meditation, you understand the rich value in the practice. If you've never tried or claim you can't, or don't have time, you need it the most. Give yourself space to thoughtfully consider how you want to feel, who you are, where you are, and what you want for yourself and your community and the collective world. Are you happy where you are? Do you feel fulfilled Are you doing what makes your heart sing? Do you feel sad? What is fueling your anger? You can get to the root of all of these things in the privacy of your own mind. You can choose to unpack the memories and stories that trigger those ugly bits of you. The ones that make you judgmental and walled off and unwilling to budge. You can discover and bless the darkness and make room for the light. Letting go of the hate and ugliness is hard. But that's because it's deep-seated by the people we trust the most. And it's rooted into the person we believe ourselves to be. But I'm telling you... You can direct the change. You can visualize where you want to go and how you want to impact the world. It's never too late to become the person you want to be. I've seen people act like shitheads their whole life and then blossom into some badass butterfly at age 70. But I don't want you to wait that long. Find out right now, how do you want to be remembered? What do you want to impart on the people who look up to you? Whatever that is, as long as it doesn't involve a parade wielding tiki torches, I say, what the fuck are you waiting for? Do it or don't. Do. You got your face fixed up nice with all those little, little colored lights. You got the records that spin around and round. I'm gonna spin, spin, spin till we get all Casually Baked the Podcast was created, recorded, produced, edited by the team of Just Joe. Our theme music is by my handsome and fabulous friend Seth Walker. If you aren't familiar with his music, check out his latest album, Gotta Get Back, wherever you are buying your music these days. I know he didn't create high time for me, but it sure as shit sounds like he did, right? I hope you'll tune in next time. Thanks for hanging out.
I'm excited to tell you I just had a brand new batch of casually baked gear printed. I have to give a special thank you to my friend Radio Boz and his buddies at Twisted J Apparel in Stephenville, Texas. That's right, folks. I went home to Texas to get my shit printed. These guys gave me an excellent deal and took care of me so that I can take care of you. T-shirts are $25. You can order them online, casuallybake.com. Just go to the shop tab. Or if you find yourself in San Francisco this weekend, I will be at the 420 Games in Golden Gate Park um, starting at 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. So you can come shop in person and tell me what you think about the podcast. Don't forget, subscribe and puff, puff, pass it. Are you ready to make bad days a thing of the past? I invite you to explore the why behind the things you do every day that make you feel awesome. In his new book, Make It a Great Day, author Jarrett Robertson shares small ideas you can use to feel your best. So the next time you're looking for ways to improve your day or mood, you're empowered to do just that. Your day can't control you when you follow this roadmap to thrive. Purchase Make It a Great Day on Audible or online at makeitagreatday.ca. Do it or don't, but do! I'm Larry Michigan. I'd like to invite you to join Jim, Marty, and me on our weekly podcast, The Deadhead Cannabis Show. Each week we explore the latest cannabis and jam band news and reminisce with other cannabis industry deadheads and jam band aficionados about the great musical acts that we've seen and heard. Check out a new episode every Monday at mjbulls.com or wherever you listen to podcasts.